right ace. Ace. No, we're not that serious. Get the fuck out of here. What's yeah. up? So now we're going to go over your first clothing issue and how to actually properly present them in your locker and how to fold everything. This is going to be a pain in your ass, but worth it. So let's do this. Yeah, you you also might want to say that they get their first issue in the end of the first week, so they really want to pay attention to this. Yeah, you guys get this right away. You're not going to be in civvies for very long, as a matter of fact. Get used to loving what. Get used to loving them. Just saying. So you learned in the last video how to properly wear your AVUs, but you need to know how to take care of them as well. This is what this video is all about. These things will be your life. I promise. So that's PT uniforms. Then you just hate your life. Anyways, let's do this. All right. So first, we're going to discuss the Santee as displayed here. This goes underneath your ABU top at all times, no matter what the cost. Huh. So, I'm gonna show you first your laundry mark. It covered up for obvious reasons. Notice how it says uh, Airman Basin 1947. Technically, it'll be, say, your last name, so whatever your last name is, one, two, three, four, the last four of your social security. That is your laundry tag. The reason for it is because you do your laundry detail as a group, essentially. So, when you guys do, when, do, when your laundry crew does laundry, they will pass it out via your um, uh, social security. That's how they know what who belongs to what. Is it effective? No. Is there a better way? No. Your life sucks in BMT, what do you want? So first we're gonna show you the basic ways of pulling a Santee. Now keep in mind, we are two weeks out of practice. Don't expect perfection. You will have eight weeks to practice this. We've been out of BMT for about two months exactly today. We don't care, but you should. Let's get started. So first, put it on its, how do you put it? Like this? Laundry tag up. Laundry tag up. So this, facing up. Sorry about that. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> I have all wrinkles. As much as possible. You usually, what MTIs might suggest you do is you take a ruler, you stick it inside, and you just like straighten it out. We don't have a ruler, unfortunately, but. Okay. Your first fold, you're going to fold it in the halfway mark uh, horizontally from the laundry tag to the end of the shirt. You will fold away from you and you will line up all edges, every single one of them. Well, you're gonna hear this word a lot, flushed. That means everything is straight up together. So this should be flushed with every single one beneath it, essentially. The next fold, you wanna flatten this part out so it's flush. So now you got as close to a rectangle as possible. The third fold, back towards you. All I'm doing on this end is that it's flush with the side beneath it. Now your MTIs will actually encourage you to find alternate routes of folding your clothes because they don't care how the product happens, they just care you have a product, essentially. So you will, you're, you might hear press, past stories about the machine or different ways trainees in the past have folded clothes. If you find a way, perfect, use it. They do not care how it happens, they just care that it happens. The last fold is a roll. You'll start from the base and you'll go all the way up to the head of the shirt. You want this as tight and as uniform as possible. You will do this one of three ways, manual, the machine, or by the trays. Now the trays, you want to explain the trays? The trays is basically you take your, you and your friend, of course, take your two of your security drawers. Now you will notice if your security drawer comes out of your locker for any reason, just gee whiz information, you must be by it. It's never out of your hands or it must be locked up. But if you're near, it doesn't matter. So you take two security drawers, put them on each side. One friend, and I, I'm not joking, will stand right on the side with their boots and squeeze in on the security drawers to keep it nice and tight. And then your friend will fold. And as your boots stay, you're, there's no possibility that this is gonna flush any other way. So that way, you get a nice fold. Now, we're not gonna, you're not gonna sit here and watch us fold it because that just takes too long for a perfect fold. So we're gonna skip so you can see the final product. Now we have a final product. This is displayed. So when you have your appraisals or your final locker inspection, this is the end that they'll be looking at. Nice fold. Now you want me to take it from you? They're not gonna focus on this end as much, but they will look at it. Just make it look semi-nice. Take it and pound it against the wall, shove it against yourself, wherever floats your vessel. And then, or my favorite trick that my MTS taught me, take your key that you'll get in basic, just take it, turn it. Like you're, like you're unlocking something. It actually tightens it a lot. It's very helpful. So that is a sanity to be very basic. You, like I said, guys, it doesn't have to be per like ours doesn't have to be perfect. Yours will have to be, depending on your MTI and how you know how much they care. But this is the best way that we know how to do it. But there's another way, the machine. 
mm. as we will now demonstrate. So this is a good way to do it solo in case you have no friends because, let's face BMT. it, people, because, yeah, because BMT. It's nothing with you, people are just selfish in BMT as you will come to find out. Take one, slide it under, or over. Put the shirt over, put another one on top, slap it on top. You will begin rolling. The first part will just barely go over the lip. You will pull down with just your fingertips. You will pull down towards you and roll. Down towards you and roll. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You will do this with just your fingers but it will keep it tight enough that you can check for each end. So like right here, it's bobbing out a little bit. I know you can't see it as easily, but... You will be able to notice it, and it'll bump the crap out of you too. But that's all the way you do it. You do it all the way up. Until the end. That's basically how it is. He's not gonna do the whole thing for you because he doesn't really have to, but it's a good general idea of what to expect and a good way to make sure your Santis come out nice because they focus on Santis a lot, don't they? Oh God, yes. <laughs> your Santis, your towel, and your socks. More than anything, it seems like. Your PT stuff, not so much. Next, we're going to cover the PT top. So this is actually a lot easier than your Santee because it requires a whole lot less. You don't need to fold, roll it, roll and fold with a clipboard or a security tray, none of that. It's really easy, and it should be the one thing that doesn't get you demerits, unlike anything else. <laughs> so, laundry mark will be on the collar right about here. It's very easy. Everything you have will be marked except your socks. And you'll find out why when you get to basic. You have these things called mesh bags. You stuff your socks in there, mark your mesh bag. That's how laundry works. It's a fun time. The mm. first fold will go uh, vertically from the top to the bottom, going through the star. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it on there, there's the half Arnold wings. You will understand what each one of these symbols means in all this. These actually do mean something. You will be quizzed on it at some point. At some point, even if you don't, it's good to know. Know your heritage. Yes. If you want to be a member of the world's greatest Air Force, have some pride and, you know, know where you come from. Mustangs? Mustangs! 323 three, three Mustangs tripping for life. The best Second squadron. Fold. The best squadron. Second fold, away from you. Third fold, sleeves only, flush. Fourth fold, one more fold over towards you, flush on this end. Fold in thirds. First fold, second fold, thirds. If you did it right, you should just see the Air Force symbol in the bottom corner and your laundry tag in the top. Now, it's kind of hard to see the logo because it's reflective. It's a really cool material if you can kind of move it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there. There you go. You, sh you should be able to see it in the writing right about here. So that's how you know you did it right. It's really easy. This should be, like I said, the one thing in your locker that doesn't get you to merits because you'll need to save that room for socks and other stuff you'll miss. Speaking of socks, let's cover those next. Socks next. Next is the ABU pants. Hold up, hold but, up, hold up. I thought we were gonna do socks. No, I hate socks. We're not we gonna do socks. socks. No, not socks. God, we're doing socks. Oh, no. So now we're doing socks, right? Yes, sir. Do it. All right. All right, you're going to get two pairs of socks. You're going to get your ABU socks, and you're going to get your PT socks. These are going to turn into filthy rags. You're going to be running every single day. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, there don't is, feel bad about it. Yeah, there is no laundry mark in either one of these. So how you will do these, for the PT socks, you will uh, you will place them about an inch to an out, inch and a half below one. So your first sock, I'm just going to put it from your point of view, your first sock will go like such. We're only gonna show you how to fold one of them because you fold them both the same way. Yep. So it's really yes. only need to show you one way because you're gonna do them for both. Your second sock will go that far deep, but right on top. You will then use the machine, the, pro, uh, the machine, the trays, or you can even use your door locker itself. You, you pin can. one in and you roll it all the way up. You will start from the toe and you will roll as thin as compact as possible all the way up to the tip. The only difference is, is that when you get to the very end when you're done rolling, there's actually more to it than the Santee. We'll show you how to tuck it after. Congratulations, you're already to the end and it's already rolled. It doesn't matter if this is flushed because there's a trick to it. 
When you get to the end and you've rolled to your last point, you're gonna take your top sock, the one that was uh, further over, you're going to stretch it with two fingers. You're gonna place it over from end to end. You're gonna grab the inner one and you're gonna roll it over itself. So it's nice and flush everywhere. You're gonna hit it a couple times on one side, a couple on the other. Should make a little smiley face. Like I said, ours is not gonna be perfect. We kind of rushed it. You'll spend a lot more time on it, but generally, nice little smiley. See, smiley. Smile while you can, you're not gonna be empty yet. And you'll see its butt. So a place like this, demerits for this one. They will go over every single thing. That's a demerit, that's one. That's two, that's three, that's four. You will clip every single one of those. They will go over every single side of the sock. How compact is it? Does it actually make it look like a square? See, that's horribly done. And it's easy to fix. Perfect. Now, one thing you need to remember is that one thing can have multiple demerits, but it'll only count as one overall demerit for that category. Yeah, there's four right there, but it's only one. It's called an unauthorized item. A string is an unauthorized item. That is a U demerit. Yep, there's another one. So you'll take your scissors and you will clip every single one of these. Or your nail clippers, whatever you prefer. Or your teeth. Or your teeth, yeah. Get or creative. rock. Yeah. Or your dorm leader, because he might be just as dumb as one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that is basically the innards of a sock. Like I said, we're not going to show you the white socks because they would both be done the same way. And so now we're going to show you the easy way to display your ABU pants. ABU pants now. Let's okay. do it. Behold my brown pants. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so basically your ABU pants, very easy. We're gonna teach you how to display them in your locker, how to fold them, and then how to put them on a hanger. Unfortunately, your hangers won't be as nice as the ones we have because you're in BNT and your life sucks. So. To make life easy, we're going to teach you a little method. It's called hook left, fly right. Your laundry mark will go inside the fly on the uh, left hand side, about an inch in. It'll be right there. Okay, then we'll proceed. Your fly, if you don't know what a fly is, do not join the military. For the love of God, do not join the military. <laughs> but, anyways, considering that, considering you've made it this far, the first fold is that your fly will be on one side, your pants, will, uh, your butt will be on the other. And you will make this, these do not need to be flush, except for the very endings. The very end and the very top. Where your belt goes, this part will be flush, this part will be flush. And this can be a two person job. I, it looks like it should be, but it can be. Don't be ashamed of yourself because people got me through basic, at least when it came to this, because I was not very good at folding, I won't lie to you. Hook left, hook left, hook left. Fly, fly of your pants. Fly right, fly right, hook left. Fly right, left. Cannot stress how many people screw up this simple method. It's really easy, but people are, you'd be surprised people lose common sense. Yep. Hook left, fly right, jump through. Take them about halfway up or till the very end of your cargo pants lift and make sure your bed the your feet are flushed with your waistline yep so hook left fly is right you should see your cargo pants in front of you the, the pocket of your cargo pants there you go it's and very easy like but so. people mess it up a lot that is a stupid demerit to get for improperly displayed which is what a uh i demerit yes improperly displayed. displayed that's an i demerit you should not have any of these because it's so easy doesn't seem like it, but it's so easy. So there's your ABU pants. What should we cover next? It will hang in your locker like so. Your fly will be the first thing you see when you open it. The hook will go towards the back. If I'm the back of the locker, this is the front. You will open it and see vi vi virtually, virtually this. Mm -hmm. Fly, hook. And now for what, for some G whiz information, when you have things in your locker, display it properly. You, it depends on how many you have in, but there should be even spacing between every single one. So this much spacing for this one, imagine another hanger, you have that much same spacing here. Everything must be evenly spaced, depending on how many hangers are in your locker. So if you have five, you have one, it'll be in the dead center. Yes. If you have two, it'll be in the If I don't have a third hand, evolution is slow. Get dark on that. <laughs> Just might. But I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to have listening in the Air Force, you're smart enough to figure this out and not being flush with each other, because they will grab your pants like so, they will just grab the bottom and pinch it. If they are mislined like so, that is a demerit. 
So make sure these things are perfectly aligned. They will grab your pants, like so, and then they will check all your pockets, strings, everything. Make sure they're empty. Please make sure they're empty. That's another dumb demerit. Actually, things in your pockets is more than a demerit. They can get you recycled, if it, depending on the offense of what it is. Please don't let a cell phone. Do not have a cell phone on you. Yes, do not have a cell phone or any money, for the love of God. Don't you do that either. You can bring those to boot camp. You cannot have them on you. You will put them with your civilian clothes at the end of what? The third day, second day, it depends on your flight. Depends on your flight and where they are in processing with you. But regardless, you will lose privileges to both of those the first day you're there, regardless yes. of that. And so, now we are going to cover PT warm-up uniform. No, blouse. Blouse. Blouse? Go okay. Blouse. Night display. Night display, actually. Night display. The ABU top. Your social security will go on the left inside pocket, about an inch and a half from the base. You will get a laundry card that, that actually is about an inch and a half, so use that to measure your distance. Yes. Everything inside your locker will be Display. Button displayed as worn. Yes, we cannot stress that enough. Everything display as worn, which means we made this mistake, hence being at a BMT for so long. Your pants and your fly must be buttoned, display as worn. You wear them buttoned, I hope you do. The same with your pants. For the sake of for the sake of this night display, they will not be buttoned. But just know everything will be displayed as worn. Keep that in the back of your mind, please. It will save you so many demerits. So this one, we're gonna use our imaginations that the drill instructors will be so happy to devote us of. You'll be derived of it very shortly. But for now, enjoy it while you have it. You will never wear the top button, ever. Never. These will always be unbuttoned. I, I don't even know of a regulation that actually has the top button. I actually think that's against AFI to have the top button on, it's out of regs. Hmm. I'll have to look it up. Research for later. Yes, it is. If you actually are curious, Look up AFI 36-2903, is that it? 36-2903. Yes, that is the um, uh, dress and regulations for all of our first uniforms. If you have time, I'll actually look it in the description for you. Read it. It is literally this video in a nutshell. And everything else about the Air Force, everything. Best dress, blues, ABUs, things you can do after BMT. It's amazing. Take the time out of your life that you still have, read it. But anyways, I want the video. Okay. This is all buttoned up. Shirt. Place it in like so. Um, uh. For your imagination's sake, again, imagine that it's buttoned. Easy enough. Make sure your collar's all the way down. That could be a demerit. But again, for the sake of this... You get the general concept. You get the now, general concept. Night display. Night display. Unbuttoned. One thing that's not buttoned in. Because... You take your pants. You'll lay them inside. Fold over and you'll hang this on the outside of your locker, just as it is right here. Only neat. The purpose of the night display, not only is does it look nice and it looks cool, it's so you can actually get changed fast in the morning. You will be in, hopefully, modified PT after you're so far into base about a weekend. Modified PT is Santee, PT shorts, and green socks. I put your blousing straps on your socks too, have them on already, saves you some time. And then your night display, so you can just throw it on and you're out the door. It's you very easy. Have Less than 10 minutes to get up, brush your teeth. Well, no, you you brush your face, shave your teeth, yes. and you will cram down the stairs, fit for 10 for 10 people at a time for 400. You will get down there within 10 minutes. Correct. Not a second more. And, and that's if you're, on a good day. Yeah, that's on a good day. And if you are the last flight that's out there, God help you. God help you because your MTI will hate you because it looks bad on them. So when you're first out there, the minute you hear Reveille, be gone. Get out, just get out. I don't care. Honestly, the MTIs will not care, run. They say not to run, but run. Run. Essentially. They say no running, run. This is not us trying to get you hurt, it's us trying to save you a lot of earache. Essentially. Yeah. Don't try, don't push people out of the way, but get down there. Sense of urgency, it's what we live on. First off. two weeks there, our flight didn't get down. We were like two, one of the last ones. By the end of the six weeks, we were waiting for that stupid buzzer to go, and everyone booked it downstairs like a fat kid on a cupcake. Pretty much. That's right. a great analogy. So now, there's actually very little left. Your first issue is not a lot to worry about. But for what we're going to do, is show you PT shorts. Alright, so next we have the PT uniform. And we're going to go through everything individually so you can see where everything is. So next, PT shorts. Laundry tag will be on the back, right there. Notice this is scribbled off because you don't need to know. Anyways, here you go. So he's going to show you how to display, how to fold and display these. It's actually so simple, a caveman can do it. You will place it with the laundry tag facing down. So this is your butt. You will place 
one fold over, you will square it off so it makes a nice little rectangle, and you'll fold it in half. And then flip it over. Congratulations. You Easy see shoulder. the Air Force symbol? You did it right. Good job. This is like the easiest thing there is. PT shorts. PT shorts, fantastic. Now, PT pants. These are your warm up suit. Learn to love it because when you get to tech school, you can't wear civilian clothes right away, so it'll be the closest thing you've got to it. It's approaching summer, so you probably won't wear this for the warmth. You might wear it for a rainy day. If it's during the winter, this stuff will be fun. Oh, yeah. This laundry mark, right pocket on the inside. Again, crossed out for obvious reasons. So, we just stuff that back in there. Here you go, sir. Your butt, your fly, inside. Hook left, fly right for these two, is it not? Yes, sir. All right. One point that gets the merits a lot. These are here so you can take your pants on and off with your shoes. They give you enough gap so you can actually take them on and off with your tennis shoes on. During night, they will be zipped up or down or however you want to say it. Zip down, zip up at night. During the day, they will be zipped up. Don't get me why, just stop asking why. We don't know, we're not MTIs. I'm not yet anyways. After the first video that we did, if you guys can't see it, you can watch it here. If you haven't seen that video yet, everyone in the space has seen it and now they're calling me an MTI. It's pretty cool. My instructor wants to see it. It's amazing. Once again, your fly will be tucked inside. You will take your fly, put it straight up. One thumb will be in the back where your butt goes, like that. And you will lift. Notice how it aligns your both your pants straight out, like so. So this should be your left side. The reason we're having these zip down is because this is the night display. You have night display for these all the time as well. They'll go on the side of your locker. Once again, here's where your fly is on this side. The reason we stress this so much is because it's, an it's something that shouldn't get you to America. People do anyways because, because common sense. Fly left. Hook left. Fly, fly right. Hook left. Hook left. Hook left. Fly right. I can't stress this enough. Hook left. Fly right. If you're sick of us telling it to you, oh man. Jump through. You will take it and you'll just, as you're jumping through, meet halfway, lift up, make sure the end is displayed like so. When you lift them up and put them in your locker, have them grab from underneath so that way when you put them away, they're already essentially And you will displayed. hang it on the side of your locker. If I'm the locker, they will be on this side facing the window in the back. Now, while he has that, this is the PT warm-up suit. With the, the laundry mark will be on the right hand po side pocket. So, right there. So now he's going to show you, also, they have pockets, they zip up. Zip them up, for the love of God. He's going to show you how they go on. Here you go, sir. It's a jacket, simple jacket. Learn to love it. Then Replace. when you figure out when every other branch is a core PT uniform than you do. Yep, actually ours is pretty cool, then Marines are just brown. No, they're just green. Yeah. It's the army ones that are kind of... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, they have the giant chevron across their chest. That's that is cool. cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie. We'll take the pants, fly right, hook left, legs down, and you'll place it inside. The reason why they put it in this way formation, easy, is because they can check to see if this is zipped. It takes them half a second to realize you're an idiot. Zip Congrats. And you do not zip it up, do you? Night, all is zipped up as worn. True. Day, zip down. Again, we, we want to stress this, it depends on your MTIs. Everyone has different rules. Mine actually had them zip off, like zip down, not yep. zipped up. Depends on your MTI. We're going over all options so that way you're prepared for anything. Depends on what your instructor will do. And it depends on what the AFI regulation is. You could be watching this video and it could have changed. But we're giving you a general idea. Again, that is true. The reason why is even though people don't really realize this, the Air Force was born in 1947, ironically. We are the youngest branch of service. We change a lot. That's what makes us very adaptable and deadly. Makes us awesome. You will, this is the night display. It will hang on the side. So if your window is on this side, the window at the back of your dorm, there will be a window because, well, there will be. Natural light has to touch you at some point during here. Yes, it does. It will be facing towards the window. It wants to be outside, so face it towards the outside. Your PT uniform wants to be outside. If the window is on this side, you will place it on that side, facing the window. It can go on, depends on which bay you are in. Remember, your PT uniform wants to be outside. You do PT outside. Mind blown. And that's it. 
So now we're going to go over the last thing that you need to know. Your okay. underwear. Your undies. For the women that are watching this, this is not this is actually gonna still pertain to you. You will be using one of these. Maybe not these, but you will be using these. These are issued. You will learn to hate this with every fiber of your core. I hated these more than my MTI. That is saying a lot. That says a lot, but good thing is, once you get to beta, or BM, or, uh, tech school, get rid of them. You can toss them. You can throw away anything you're issued as long as you replace it, but we advise you don't throw away anything you're issued. No, I Because it's my expensive. The stuff is expensive, guys, and you're not making as much money as you think you are. I highly advise you do not throw away anything you're issued as much as you may hate it, except underwear, because that's cheap. Anyways, let's show you how to fold it. Yes, you will be issued these. They will be four sizes too small. I don't care if you say you want a super large version, they will give you a small. It hurts so bad. Depends on who's handing them out to you, because when I went to my clothing issue, we had trainees issuing us clothing. Yeah, same here. So, we will start with just the whitey tidies. The laundry mark will be right here on the inside. It will be on the left-hand side. Everything's to the left. You'll put it just inches on here. Don't be an idiot and put it in the wrong spot. We're assuming you're intelligent because you made it this far. Yep. Don't prove us. Don't prove us wrong. Laundry mark. Screw up. Laundry mark. Screw up. Get it. Imagine which one you want to be and yep. be that guy. Simple tip for making sure your laundry mark is eligible. If people can't read it, you're not going to get your stuff back. No. Instead of writing it out in one solid line, dot it. And like then you spell it in. Dot it like you're taking a tattoo. Little dots. Take your time. If you write it fast, no one's gonna find your laundry mark. Oh, it's inspection day and you can only wear your ABUs for two days straight. There's a demerit. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I stretch my ABUs a lot longer than that, but depending on your MTI, they may all. check. Huh? Didn't we all? We all stretched that limit, really, we did. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so your MTI might check that, they never know. But just know that the rule is ABUs more, no more than two days at a time. For the 10 or 12 of you that never actually, you know, figured out what whitey tighties are, these are where your legs go, in here. First fold, take the crotch area, put it flush with the uh, waistline. You'll fold left, because you always do left first, then right. Congratulations, you're done. That's, it's probably the easiest thing, but you can get a lot easier to marathon it if you're not attentive. What they're gonna be looking for, is it flush up here? You wanna pat it down a little bit. Is it folded from left to right, not right to left? Now, and your MTIs will tell you, and there'll be a part in a binder that you'll have in your locker, it's a binder. What is it called, the BMTDG? Yes. BMTDG. So, what that will show you is we're going to Basic. Military training, training dorm guide. There you go. So, what it'll do is it'll show you where everything in your locker is displayed. Everything. How it's displayed. Yes. When it's displayed. How it should be displayed. And there's two versions. The summer version and the winter version. We have the winter version. Yes, we did. It depends on what time of week you... Or week, wow, year you go. Now, we can only display for one because that's all we know. But... This still covers a lot of areas regardless. So next, let's show them the other one. These are your track pants. You will use this every time you go to PT. You will not use your whitey tighties, you will use these. You will fold them once over, make sure they're square, fold them down. That's it. The laundry mark on these will be on the inside, left side. Gray marker, not black for obvious reasons. Yep. So, once again, that's it. The next is your towel. Now, this is the easiest thing to get to Marathon, I think. Well, everything's easy, but this is just stupid easy for some reason. You will notice, if you want to explain the top bottom two stripes versus the top two stripes, that would be awesome. Top two versus bottom two? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you're gonna put the laundry mark on the top one. Oh yeah, that's right. The one bar top stripe, that's where your laundry mark goes. So just remember that. And also when you shower, and you will shower together, don't be the guy or a girl who steals people's towels, please. Is it true? Can it be? Did I just graduate BMT with no one jacking my shit? <laughs> we were singing that all Christmas. <laughs> that is fantastic. Right. You will notice on your towel you'll have two stripes here, one stripe here. Two stripes, one stripe. Halfway through the first stripe, it does not matter which side it goes on, they're both the same. You'll write your uh, laundry code. Simple way of doing that, just dot, and I'm making exaggerations, dot, dot, dot. You can still pronounce that that's an A. Do not just write scribblies. 
You can't determine that. We've thrown away so many towels because we couldn't determine whose is it. And yes, we threw away other people's stuff because they're morons. If you if we cannot identify, it goes in the trash because we have no place for it. Do not have a Narnia. For the love of God, do not have a Narnia. This is for your benefit, everybody, I promise you. What a Narnia is, is there is a closet. If no one's there, no one's, if someone's been kicked out, recycled, their closet becomes empty. You can throw stuff in there. Our flight did that. Shame. Narnia was found. It was not a fun day. Oh, geez. No, it wasn't. All right, first fold. You will lay it so that the laundry mark is face down. Laundry mark down. Like everything else, it'll be one away from you. Make sure all of this is meticulously flush. They will be looking for this. This is the most pain in the butt thing to fold. I was actually pretty good at it. It might be a flight. Okay, you will notice that there's some people who are good at some things than others. And try to help each other out. Please, don't be selfish. I'm not saying do everything, do people's stuff for them, but give them a hand. Yeah, if you cannot do, teach them. If you cannot teach them, get out of their way and find someone who can. Essentially, yes, because we're not going to sit here and say we could do everything by ourselves because I couldn't. No, no. I got through with my friends, and you will too, unless you're amazing, which chances are you're not. So I needed people's moral support. I dragged three people over the finish line in their P, uh, for their PT. I, I, I rocked at PT. They sucked at everything else, but I helped them across, and they lacked in some areas. My dorm chief was great at marksmen. If he told us everything, we would have a flight of full of marksmen. There was a trick to it. He didn't tell us what it was until after. More on that later. All right, second fold towards you. Everything flush, and you will pat everything down. Take halfway, fold to the left, uh, fold from left to right. Again, left to right. This has been a used towel, so it's somewhat frayed, but this part should be flush. Now, not only don't try and get smart and think, I won't just use my towels, I'll fold them once and never use them again. Incorrect, they will check to make sure they're used, and they will know. A unused towel will be completely flushed all the time. A used towel, this will all be wrinkled. See how it's wrinkled on this one? That's been used. Honestly, I wouldn't actually shower with it, just throw it in the wash. Yep. One time, then you're good, that's all I did. And what they're gonna check for is your laundry mark is on the top. So they will see half your laundry mark, and they know it's folded right, it's put in your locker right, and it's flush right. You always have one displaying at the end of your bed. So after you're done showering, scrub everywhere, make sure you get it all, you're gonna have your towel. Now, where are you gonna put said towel? Well, you can't throw it in your locker, you can't throw it in your bag because it's wet. It needs to dry. Remember to dry everywhere. Don't be that guy. That we, guy smells. We hate that guy. All right, laundry tag face up. You're gonna fold it directly in half, like so. You're going to go from under your bedpost to over, and you're just gonna lay it down. Now, this, is not your bedpost, this is a tech school bedpost. Yeah, this is not, yours is not gonna be this nice. Yours is gonna be iron. It's gonna have a crappy mattress and it's gonna be the most unloved thing on the planet. You're gonna be looking for this part is to be flush at the bottom, all the way up to the top. Everything, everything. flush, and we mean everything. Yep. And it has to be a two finger distance away from the three. edge of the bed. Oh, three bed, three finger. my apologies. Three finger length away from the end of the bedpost. Cool trick is to take this whole thing out, flatten it and uh, make sure all four corners are flattened together, pull it two or three times, and then take, without letting go, pinch it, then set it down, and then let it go. And then you should be good. Do not be that person that walks down the aisle. You can't even walk down the aisle. That's only for the MTIs. You will walk from, here's the locker, here's the end of your post. Do not be that guy that sits there and brushes it. Because now that airman is gonna get a demerit because of you. And I got screwed multiple times because of it. Yep, when you walk by, be mindful. If you're in a hurry, fine, be so. But we had a person dedicated to just making sure these were all right. We did too, in the mornings especially. What's the three finger for? Simple, you're gonna have a web belt. That web belt's thickness is three fingers. You will put it right here and it will drape over the side. And your web belt will be on at all times. All times, except for sleeping and showering. And in the, in the child hall when you sit down. And when you're in class. True. Those are the only four times. Oh, and when you're taking it down. True. True. Yeah, yeah. Five times. Five times you don't have it on. Every single else, that is always constantly on you. It weighs 20 pounds. You will have fun with that. I actually miss mine sometimes. I do too. It's handy. You you learn. You actually will learn to like it, because I did. Let's use our imaginations. This is the web belt. It goes around. Snaps in the back. You have a canteen on one side, you're going to have a bag. 
you're going to snap, drape it over. That's where your web belt goes at night. Yep. Like so. I know this is not a web belt, but it's just about as approximation as you're going to get. It's my American Eagle belt. It's awesome. a nice belt. Nice. There you go. Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> and so, with that, that is your initial clothing issue. We have covered everything. We mean everything. Everything. We've discovered multiple angles in which you can go. But again, remember, this is all the discretion of your MTI and what you do. Be creative when it comes to folding your clothes. If you have someone who can do a sock in less than 10 seconds, see if he can get someone else to train it. If not, see if he can do the entire flights. Yes, we did do that, but he did not do anything else. So while we were doing our morning and our evening routines, he was folding socks, but he didn't do anything because we had 50 other guys covering for him because he was covering for us. We had that guy. Do not, we, I mean, stress, do not be selfish. Help out your wingman. Don't volunteer him for this or anyone else like that, or her. The only thing we have not covered on is the bra. Obviously, we don't have them. We're not females, I'm sorry. If you're a female watching this video, we apologize, but most of this does pertain to you. Everything in here you will have. Yes. The only difference in your uniform is your skirts, your necktie, your neckties, those little neckties for your blues, and your bras. Other than that, you will have the same stuff. Yep, that's essentially it. Here's your entire display folded. You will get multiple of these. If you're thinking you're only gonna get one ABU, <laughs> you're gonna get Four. You think you're gonna get one pants? Ha ha, you're gonna get three. Four pairs of underwear, four pairs of underwear, four socks, four socks, three of these, no, three, four of these, six of these, four of these, one D bag. Hold your D bag close. Hold your D bag. Hold your D bag. But the brilliant thing is, if you guys have made it this far and you're still confused, links. Fantastic, isn't it? Go to these. Make sure you know what you're doing. Just don't just be like, okay, I got your no idea then not know. Be in depth, know what you're doing. Look at the AFI, do your research. If you know what you're doing, holy crap, you'll be so far ahead of the game. Oh yeah. Something I wish I did, because I went in there clueless and I regret it. But I still made it through. You can make it through clueless if you have your head in the right place and you have dedication. Completely clueless. Hey. Completely clueless. Anyway, <laughs> don't steal my snapping thing. But yeah, so we want to thank you guys for taking the time to get with us to watch this. We hope this is informative for you because it takes a lot. We won't lie, we don't have to do this. But we do because we're nice and we want to see your room below the zone. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>